All right, hey, welcome back, guys. Making a video today on, obviously a video, uh, on rifle lights. This is the Streamlight Protec Rail Mount HLX. Love the light, been demoing it for a few months, and I'm pretty proud of it, pretty satisfied with it. Traditionally, I've carried Surefire Scout lights, like the M600, fantastic lights, still love it, still highly recommend it, but this is kind of a game changer, and I wanted to tell you why. Uh, the game plan is, is first we're going to go out to the range. You guys will watch me do a side-by-side -side comparison between this Streamlight and the Surefire Scout series. Then we'll come back in here and I'm going to do a little bit of uh, pros and cons review. All right, hey guys, what's happening out of the range with my buddy Don? And we're testing out different lights. We'll be uh, demoing two different rifle lights. The one you see right here, what you got, Don? I got the Surefire Scout 600. Sure, uh, M600. And I got the Streamlight Protec rail mount. It's a thousand lumens. So we're going to show them in that order, and I'll call it out before we illuminate, so that you guys will know what lights we're showing. Is the Streamlight Protec rail mount up close? Whoa, that's bright. Going medium and going farther. That is really bright. Now let's go the Surefire Scout 600. Hot center. Now go Streamlight again. Surefire. Very good. And let's go medium with the Surefire left. Surefire left. And Surefire farther right. Point it down just a little bit. There we go. Replace it with the Streamlight. Surefire. Now let's aim left. These are new batteries as well. Streamlight, Surefire, Streamlight, Surefire. All right, guys, let's talk about it. So both lights performed very, very well. I was thrilled about the Streamlight, uh, though the Streamlight seemed, in my opinion, it didn't throw quite as far as the Surefire, and I think that's part of the Surefire has a really, really hot, tight center. Streamlight does too, performed very well. Just in my opinion, it seemed like the Streamlight had a little bit hotter of a center and threw a little bit farther. Other than that, in terms of illumination power, the Streamlight seemed to outperform it in terms of how wide the throw was and how bright the rest of the throw was around that hot center. I'd be really happy with either light. I don't really care. You get hit point blank in the face by one of these lights. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, especially within about 15 yards or 20 yards in the dark, you're going to be blind as a bat, whether it's the 500 lumen Surefire or the 1000 lumen Streamlight. Now, uh, in, in measuring power, here's just a little bit of a rabbit trail, but in measuring power, a lot of people run toward lumens. And lumens is one really important indice in figuring out how powerful a light is, but it's not the only game in town. Uh, take, take cameras, for example. There's the megapixels, but there's also the lens. You could have something with like huge megapixels, but if you got a crappy lens, that camera may not perform well. And conversely, you could have a really good lens with not really huge high megapixels, and it could still perform well. Uh, so what a lot of flashlight manufacturers will do is they'll throw out a beam, and then they'll measure the hottest part of that center, and whatever the highest reading they can come up with of like, all right, the light's really kind of like a 200 lumen light, but that one dot, that one spot throws 500 lumens, and guess what? It's a 500 lumen light now. Uh, both of these lights do a really, really good job. Have great blinding power, deep throw, wide breadth, really, really good in terms of the illumination power. So that's one thing that I was looking for in comparing the Streamlight Protec Rail Mount HLX versus the M600 Surefire Scout. All right, second thing I wanted to talk about is price. This guy costs around 120 bucks. For the Surefire Scout, though, you have to buy the light, which is two, 300 bucks, then the tail cap, then the pressure pad. When all said and done to have this set up for a Surefire Scout, you're in it for over 400 bucks versus this is about 120. Amazing. Now, if this wasn't decent reliability, I'd still push you towards Surefire, but I do think these are reliable. They may not be as reliable as the Surefire, but man, how, how reliable do you have to be? I don't know. I don't really have enough data. I've been rocking this guy for two or three months. I really like it so far, and I'm just not hearing anybody I respect say anything bad about it. It seems tough, and I don't baby my stuff. I bust this around, and I kind of like when I pick it up. 
uh, see it and I just kind of bang it against something a little bit more and it's always just coming on. Uh, so those are a couple things uh, I really like. I think it's reliable. I think it's inexpensive. I think it's very, very powerful. Uh, so those are some things. Now some stuff I don't like, and this is some of you guys aren't going to care, uh, but right now there's no dual switch. Like here's the Surefire dual switch button that's made to interface with the Surefire Scout and an infrared laser. This is for night vision stuff. So uh, right now this will interface with a night vision laser, but it will not interface with this flashlight, which means I can't run a dual switch with this light and this uh, infrared laser, which means I have to push the button here or here. So uh, that's one thing. My friends at Unity Tactical are supposedly coming out with a tap switch that will interface with both. I think the prototype already exists. If it does come out, I'll go ahead and come back later and put the link below in the description so that you can see if this setup is here and ready to, and good to go for it. But that is one lim limitation that I have for a night vision setting. I have to go here and then up here to this button. It's a big fret that I've got to jump from. That's one thing. Uh, the pressure pad right here is momentary on or constant on and I find it this is so sensitive it's kind of easy to accidentally discharge uh, so uh, anyway I may need to just train around it but uh, that's just a lot of real estate that actuates pretty darn easy so that's another thing that I wasn't really thrilled about other than that fantastic light I'll provide links below for you guys in case you want to check it out and get one of your own I highly recommend it at this point so uh, anyway, guys, thanks for staying tuned. Share, like, subscribe, and uh, if you guys are digging the wear, represent. This is a new Warrior Poet shirt. I got it like literally two hours ago. It says Warrior Poet right there. And check that out. Black on black. Got all kinds of colors. Shameless plugs, but you know, I'm running a business here. Uh, join the movement. See you guys.